गुड इवनिंग श्रीमती स्मृति जुबी निरानी मिनिस्टर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट श्री हंसराज गंगाराम आहिर मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर केमिकल्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स प्रोफेसर सी एन आर राव प्रोफेसर एम एस स्वामीनाथन श्री कैलाश सत्तार्थी वाइस चांसलर्स एंड डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ हायर लर्निंग लीडर्स ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज डिस्टिंग्विश्ड गेस्ट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लेट मी एक्सटेन द वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे is an important day for higher education in our country for the first time in rashtrapati bhavan brilliant minds captains of industry and academic leaders of 114 central institutions have come together on a common platform to deliver it on issues concerning the higher education sector distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen let me confess at the beginning of my presidential term i was a stranger to the role of visitor of central institutions of higher learning visits to various universities so far i have visited over 100 institutions and discussions with eminent educationists led to the convening of series of conferences of these institutions at rashtrapati bhavan starting from february 2013 Seven conferences have been held so far. I have had this opportunity to interact with the heads of central institutions in groups, thrice with the central universities, twice with the NITs, and once each with IISERs and IITs. recommendations have anything from these discussions have greatly benefited the stakeholders and no doubt has enhanced my understanding of the problems of higher education sector in india the discussion during these conferences focused on improvement in the quality of education research and innovation and faculty development creating international linkages for joint research and faculty and student exchanges improving the rankings of indian institutions greater use of ict networks and development of modified moocs to deliver quality education at affordable prices greater involvement of alumni in the management structure of the institutions deeper integration of industry with the academic institutions the results we have achieved in these few years are remarkable the credit goes to the dedicated team work of all the stakeholders thank you all ladies and gentlemen my constant refrain that we cannot aspire to be a world power 
without having a single world-class university, has found resonance amongst the institutions who have now started looking at the international ranking process in a more proactive and systematic manner. For the first time, two Indian institutions have found place in the top 200 po positions in QS rankings. IISC Bangalore at 147th and IIT Delhi at 179th place deserve full praise and compliments. I congratulate them for their achievements. If we provide enough funds to top 10 to 15 institutions for the next four or five years, I have no doubt that these institutions will storm into the top 100 of the global academic rankings within the next few years. The National Institutions Rankings Framework put in place by the Ministry of Human Resource Development with an India-centric approach will further help our institutions to compete nationally and globally. Apart from giving the nation, the institutions, its students and its alumni a sense of pride a high rank can help attract quality faculty and meritorious students, open fresh avenues of growth and placement of students, and provide a benchmark for continuous improvement in standards. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, innovation is the currency of the future. Innovation converts research into wealth. Unless we recognize this reality and start working in a focused manner on creating a strong innovation culture in our country, now we will be left behind in the march to modernity. Way back in February 2013, I had called upon the universities to establish links with grassroots innovators. Their response has been very encouraging. Over 60 central institutions have started innovation clubs to provide a platform for interaction between the academic community and grassroots innovations. In April 2014, when I met the heads of the IISC and IISERs, I stressed upon the need to create synergy between the activities of these clubs with innovation incubators located in the technical institutions like IITs and NITs, to create an innovation network. The effort needs a further push. I understand the National Innovation Foundation has compiled a catalog of grassroots innovators after segregating them into three sectors, I am sure central institutions as well as participating industries will find it a useful document. I am confident that this linkage of grassroots innovators with entrepreneurs and financiers will yield a rich crop of startups. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a strong interlinkage between industry and academia is a critical component for developing the educational and industrial ecosystem. 
in all the conferences conducted so far, the participants were unanimous that this ecosystem needs further strengthening. It is therefore a momentous day to day as industry captains and leaders of academia institutions have joined hands to sign 44 memoranda of understanding and they have exchanged the memorandum of understanding between them. I congratulate all of them. It shows on the one hand the increasing commitment of the industry towards institutes of higher learning and on the other exhibits a strong desire of academic institutions to constructively engage with industrial partners. I applaud all industry leaders, particularly CII, as the focal point for collaborating with the President's Secretariat in this initiative. I would like to place on record my sincere appreciation for the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers and the Ministry of Human Resource Development for their efforts in finalizing these MOUs aimed at deepening the ecosystem for industry academia dialogue. Today, the participants of the conference have had the benefits of listening to the inspiring words of Bharat Ratno Professor CNR Rao, Professor M. S. Swaminathan, and Nobel laureate Koila Shatarthi. These mighty minds have traveled uncharted territories and excelled in trying circumstances. I thank them for sparing their time to come here and share their transformative ideas with the participants. Before I conclude, I want to share with you a thought of Mahatma Gandhi. I quote, a small body of determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history, unquote. The gathering here this evening represents that small body of determined men and women. The mission is clear. We have to move forward now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.